And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our last deck of the night, the last legendary deck, the deck that I've played the most um, and have had a lot of success with, I guess. Um, we had Matthew Ori went back and checked all of our uh, videos in 2019 of playing this deck and saying that we were 44 and 18 so far with Naya Legends. So that's really strong. Um, so let's give it a try again. There's one change I'm making here for this video is I'm taking out Knight of Autumn from the sideboard and putting in Cinder Vines instead. I know we've lost sometimes against like Nexus decks and Control, like those are some some tough matchups. So I want to try the the Cinder Vines um, in those matchups because those matchups I'm going to be taking out Urza's Ruinous Blast anyway, um, and Cinder Vines can can help us out there. Um, I think we're already pretty good against aggro with having, we have Deafening Clarions in here to go with like these Angels and Tristanis and stuff. So I think we're okay against aggro anyway. So I, I don't think we need it there. So let's, let's give Cinder Vines a try. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, even though the, the YouTube channel doesn't get the music, um, yeah, you can just kind of play your own. Um, and fill it out there but you know copyright stuff I just can't can't have any music up for the YouTube channel so we're just kind of getting started immediately it's already pretty late here this is usually usually I'm you know basically done streaming for the night usually I stream from 3 to 10 Eastern and it's almost 10 o'clock now I spent a lot of time on uh, Bant Legends earlier because I started I didn't play a league and went 0-2 real quickly and so we played another one and those six games were, were real long and so So that's why This is your favorite deck for sure. This is maybe my favorite deck too. This deck's pretty solid too So this looks like we're not doing so good, but honestly we're kind of doing okay. Oh no, Kinjali Sunwing is clutch. We don't get the treasure. Yeah, that card is clutch here. Urza, as long as we survive to Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, All right, so I, I can attack, get the treasure, play Lyra. I think I'm gonna, gonna gonna just not attack. Have this back on D. That card's legendary. Yeah, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a late stream here. Yeah, unfortunately Lyra is legendary, so I don't get to get rid of it. Oh wait, I could have just attacked and played Ruinous Blast last turn. I should have done that. I was thinking I needed like these angels out to cast the Ruinous Blast for some reason. Sorry, it's been a long day. I had the Lannery Storm already. I should have just blasted last turn. Hmm. Yeah, I should have just blasted last turn. All right. So I, I can, of course, blast right now. Get rid of these things. And then they attack me with their Lyra. Next turn, I play Lyra, hit in for four lifelink. Yeah, let's do it. Should have done that last turn. My bad. Okay, gotta get the uh, Esper Legends deck going on YouTube.
So I could shock to... That's annoying. I could shock to play the Shauna. Don't think I want to do that, though. Please don't have removal from my Lyra. We'll see if they have another seal away. I honestly wouldn't mind if they have another seal away. Whoops. Messed up the auto tap. I don't get to play Shauna. Whoops. I messed up that auto tap. Oh, I'd need to play the mountain anyway, though, because, because you know, the mountain couldn't cash on anyway. So it's just my fault. I need to just play the mountain first. Um... I don't have to worry about Settle the Wreckage because of Shalai. So it's nothing I need to be worried about. All right, and sorry, yeah, I'm finishing up this or typing out some of the description here for the this YouTube video. All right, back to Twitch chat. So we're only four away from the 1,700 YouTube subscribers. Nice. Hmm. No blocks from the opponent. All right. Blast looks to be pretty awesome. Um, Deafening Clarion, absolutely. Uh, Lyra Shalai, yes please. Lava Coil, yes please. Alright, so we're going to take out some of our slower things. Let's take out Weatherlight, Karn, um, Huatli. I don't know, Huatli does get to gain life. Also, Anakin Minus and deal some damage. I, but I just need to take out Fives. Uh, Squee's going to come on out. The problem with Vivian, I mean, well, Vivian's awesome at, like, destroying enchantments and and I guess they're playing Lyra. Never mind, I'm going to play Vivian. Hmm, what else am I taking out then? So many fives. Uh, Lannery Storm? Or Shauna? Maybe Shauna. And I'll take out one Druidic Vow. Because so I want to cut cards that die to Deafening Clarion when I'm playing Deafening Clarion. Hey, we just passed 1700. Thank y'all. Yeah, the YouTube channel is something new. I basically just kind of started it this year. Um, hmm, no white mana. Okay. And so it's it's growing slowly, but it's growing.
I'll go ahead and pay the two life just in case. Alright, did not need the two life. Alright, making the the thumbnail for the Esper control deck right now. Or sorry, Esper uh, Legends deck. That's what I meant to say. It's just like whenever you say Esper usually saying control. It's not really doing anything. They just have more seal aways. It certainly seems like more seal away. Come seal away. The lifelink. Tristani provides those really nice, you know, like getting like those extra creatures with lifelink and everything. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Meet my newest friend. This game's going pretty good. Yeah, opponents just sitting on the two planes. This is brutal. Not so good for them. Unfortunately, you no Rafka Passion. We don't get to do anything, like, really cool. So I'm just going to sit back with Shalai. I don't want to have this Shalai go into, like, another seal away. We've seen our opponent, you know, really like these seal aways. I'm going to just start attacking with the Lyra, where they can't seal away Lyra because Lyra has hexproof, and I can kind of hold Shalai back. Yeah, this has been a pretty good mold of five. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, hopefully no no rain there for y'all. Didn't realize y'all are on the major flood warning. Balance comes. Well, that's a good card. Now I don't even have to worry about seal away with Shalai. Oh, I don't know why I'm playing this Amara. Oh, I guess I'm not going to actually cast this Clarion. Hey, Vico Rama. So they cannot um, seal away Shalai because they'll have Vigilance. And Lyra they can't seal away because it has X proof. Well, they can't. There's nothing to target here. And now Vivian gets the ultimate next turn. No, we're going to Vivian ultimate. And Clarion. Because then our creatures would have been indestructible and everything. Alright, want to know. Yeah, so I think our decks are already pretty good against aggro. That we don't really need the... Um, we don't need the Knight of Autumns. So I'm thinking that changing them out for Cinder Vines could help us because Nexus is a is a tough matchup for us. So the Cinder Vines could help there. Well, they will help. Hmm. 
All right, so I just want to remind you all about Quip while we're waiting here. Affordable, stylish electric toothbrush. Sign up, use my link. Um, get your get a, a free refill of the uh, the brush head and t toothpaste. Ten dollar value, and also help support the stream as well. Sign up. You get a cool notification here on the stream and uh, support the stream as much as subscribing for an entire year. So, hmm. I'm worried about Kaya's Wrath for next turn. I'm gonna try to just play this Vivian here. Come to me. Turn two, Lannery Storm. Turn three, Vivian's pretty good. Not bad. Dang. For a mouse. Convenient. An excellent choice. Come on, play this, Shauna. Can we go ahead and do that? No, Tajik doesn't stop rats. It stops damage based based wraths um such as like a gates of blaze but not a kaya's wrath what was lost is now returned Yeah, I missed one damage by not using the the other thing first. I also wasn't sure if I was going to like what I was going to be doing there. Squee. Counter it. Go, Squee, go. So I could have got Lannery Storm. The choices we make reveal who we are. Certainly feel like our opponent's going to be using Akai's Wrath again the, ne the following turn. Patient on that moment of craving, so... If they're that patient on that moment of craving, they got to have a counter spell in their hand. Turn. 
have two counter spells. Tilt. Nice, Soda. 95% of the way finished in the deck. No, my Vow. Don't take the Vow. Take the Tajik. Or the Blast. Ooh. What are they sitting at over there? Opponent is savage. Oh, they're saying I got another counter spell for this vow here. Your patience is rewarded. Well, I'm I'm throwing it at him. Whew. Resolves. Oh man, this is so much worse than a Tajik would have been. This is about to get interesting. Yeah, good thing you didn't. I guess I could go, could go to the lifelink one. Good thing that good thing they didn't take that vow. Feast on their flesh. All right, so they had another Kai's Wrath, which they certainly needed, but no contempts. Especially not how their mana is tapped. Oh boy. Getting that Twitch Prom sub up in here. Welcome to the channel, D-Lo. I do appreciate that. Come, sing the song of fame. I think I'm gonna be a little patient on the next vow. Don't think I need to do it this turn. Since we have this backup. Alright, so we'll be cracking a pack open. Here, if we're getting to our next sub goal. You're locked in a Nexus loop on Arena. What should you do? Just probably concede if your, if your opponent has a Nexus loop. That's what I would be doing. I would just concede and move on. Ever truly lost. Yeah, or you can just watch the stream and keep hitting OK pass. It's another option. Killing my squee. Should be settle the wreckage here, but I don't really care about getting these settled. Romeo. All right. All right, so tapped out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do it again.
Land, 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 land. Six lands? Oh, seven, eight lands. Wow. Eight lands and a shalai. At least we had a bunch of bad cards on top. Think. That should be six mana now. Yep. Perfect. Enough to activate Shalai. Go and feast on their flesh. Yeah, I could have Huatli kill Chromium, but that kills Huatli. I don't think Chromium is good enough to that that matters. Like the Chromium's not doing very much. I'm not I'm not worried about it. I'd rather have my Huatli in play because they they need a Kaya's Wrath, and if they Kaya's Wrath, I want my Huatli in play still. There's only two vows in the deck, so we don't have to worry about the next vow, uh, milling us out. But yeah, we were only down to 15 cards left. Um, huh, got to win. Opponent did not like their matchup, it looks like. Uh, no, any number of target creatures for Huali for damage. All right, here, let's, let's do a reset. That was kind of laggy. Yeah, let's reset the program. Yeah, but I was thinking the same thing. All right, anything I'm missing with Esper Legends? Nope, looks like it's good, ready to go up on YouTube as soon as it's published or processed. Yeah. Opponent probably was pretty mad about that first vow, you're right. Yeah, you have Nerzilla. I'll be here tomorrow every day of the week. This is my full-time job, Nerzilla. So I'm here each and every day, 3 to 10 Eastern. So, yeah, feel free to come on by again. Yeah, pretty good record with our janky Legends decks, too. Our Legends decks have been performing pretty well. I just kind of like our lands. Yeah, every once in a while I'll have, you know, I'll take a day off and stuff, and I say that in the Discord channel. Um, we had, my electricity was out earlier this week though, Monday through Thursday, so I am not planning on taking another day off um, for a while. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Where you at? Hmm. So I just take up Karn. They just kill Karn. Good choice. I'll just get this land. That coil would have been a good card to draw. Team Reclamation in Standard. There are great it's not my kind of deck. I don't. I don't like Wilderness Reclamation. <clears throat> it's my least favorite card in Standard. This is looking really bad for us. Despite them, you maggots! 
my hand could not handle a bunch of two mana three twos very well at all. I can't vow. Weatherlight's not a creature. Alright, so bringing in these Clarions, the Coils. Cut this Weatherlight, especially with them playing Frasca. Um, Tristani, not as good against Finality. Yeah, I'm excited for Captain Marvel. I'm certainly going to go... I'm certainly going to see the movie at some point. Um, hmm. What else did we cut before? I want my Tristani back. They're probably playing like Hostage Shaker and that kind of stuff. Actually, never seen the Breakfast Club movie. I take out one Lannery Storm and one Shauna. Because of the Clarions. <laughs> yep, you got the planes and the mountain in the deck. There you go. Alright, turn four, Wrath. I'll just keep the Temple Guard in so that all the lands will start coming to play untapped. Um, you know, land here... I, mean, I guess it does let me cast Clarion a turn earlier too. It is it is the second green source for Vivian also. So the big question is if I want to cast Ooh, we have our answer. Let's say the big question is if we want to if I want to cast Clarion or wait a little bit, but with them not playing a land, I am clarioning that up. Tilt. The Vivian's gone. All right, yeah, have a good night. Hope you have a, a good week. Yeah, for a newer player trying to make a two or three color deck, do I get the lands first and then build? Um, I kind of like just getting the cards first. I mean, lands are definitely really important, but you know, you can just kind of play like the, the crappy guild gates and stuff for lands. It's not going to be as good. Um, but you can do that. Um... Maybe like a mix. Lands are certainly really important, but if you just have like the lands and you don't have like any good cards, that's rough too, you know? I guess I could be attacking with this also. Um, 
They finally got there. Tristani's all bugged. Yeah, I, I don't know why Tristani has that really weird ability, but it's in there. No! Oh, I needed that Ruinous Blast. Man, what a beating. Yeah, it's a good ability. I, it's kind of random for the card to have it. Ah. Uh. I waited just a turn too late for that Ruinous Blast. I wanted them to play another Jade Light before I cast it. It's a little too greedy. If no one knows the wilds like I do. Ooh. Still got there. I think I'm going to wait a little bit, though. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Expected my opponent to have, um, you know, Hydrocrasis from here. I've seen things that would break someone like you. They do get to, you know, gain a bunch of life with these triggers, but the life total just doesn't really matter that much. This Tristani is freaking me out. Alright, so that's all their Jade Lights. That's every Jade Light. I think we're dead though. Scars really, that duress our opponent had skin. to take our Vivian earlier is really crucial. You need to be taken down. Okay. Show no mercy. Good. I want them to pick up. We need to draw Balance Kamal's Juridic Vow. Come on, Kamal's Juridic Vow. Come on, Juridic Vow. I need some help. Until you have made this move, I'll make use of that later. Yeah, we we need a vow. So those two cards Meet were not vows. My newest friend. Oh yeah, we drew way too many lands. It just you know, we just drew lands and clarions, you know? Like, so we just didn't have anything to do. We just, <laughs> you, you know, drawing all of our clarions like that. It's bold. Not oh. every fight can end in victory. Yeah, we drew the one Vivian that got duressed away. Make your captain proud. The wilds are my shield. Looks like we're going to two and one.
Just gonna ultimate Vivian. You're not walking out of here. I've lost so much already. No one said restoration was painless. Bleh. Take no prisoners. Yeah, Sultai is the best is the best deck in the format, but um But yeah, you can play lots of other things, though. You don't need to just always play the best deck. If that's not what you want to be doing. A lot of other good options. To be fair, we've had a, a pretty unbelievable, unbelievably good record against Sultai today. I think that's our first time actually losing to Sultai today. So, you know, I think we were due for a loss against Sultai. We have been pretty fortunate. I think we were like three, four, or five, o five and zero, oh, something like that, against it in general. I seriously just didn't get a pack again. I know we opened up the second one. We've opened up two packs today, but we're still. Missing one more pack to go go crack open. I've been really bad about that today. So we're opening a pack every five subscribers, and you can see we've got 15 today, so we need three. This is going to be a lot of damage. Turn four lethal. Lethal on turn four. Turn one elf. Turn two Lannery Storm. Turn three Aurelia. Turn four Tristani. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I should, should do. Do a post-it note for the pack. That was strong to quite strong. So let's get some Carnage Tyrants in against Blue-Black Control instead of the Urza's Ruinous Blasts. I kind of want to just do that. Um... Even like the one lava coil in case they have a thief of sanity. We still have like these flyers that can block thief of sanity and everything, and we have Tristani's. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, Land of War Elves is the real legend, right? Legacy tier cards are in standard besides Land War Elves. Uh, Arclight Phoenix. Um, Experimental Frenzy, maybe, but definitely the other one I'm trying to think of. Light up the stage. Light up the stage. Um, is the, the burn spell? No, that one's probably not Legacy. Cinder Vines, yeah, Cinder Vines. Yep, that scene play in all of them. But yeah, not a whole lot. Squee. Take Squee. Take Squee. 
Squee, 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 squee. Dang, opponent didn't take squee. All right, they have the the turn two thought erasure, turn three thief of sandy, like their best possibles. Ooh, they're Esper. Didn't even know that. Thought they were only blue black. So we have both Lyra. They can deal with Squee or Huatli. They can kill Squee. We have both of those next turn. So, whichever one our opponent takes, we have the other one. Hey, White Korean. Okay, White Korean, good. I've been waiting for you to come back in. So, I have I have your Jeskai deck that I need to play. Um, when do you want, when do you, what day and time do you want me to play it? Because I, yeah, I'm sorry, I like, we had like the, the problem, like I had my electricity go out. Um, it was a big problem and everything. But I want to make sure, so like, so like tomorrow anytime, the next day anytime, you know. And I'm, I really apologize. Yeah, everything should be better now. So I guess like, is Negate the card I'm scared of? Is it more likely they have a negate or that they have like a mortify or a contempt or some card that gets rid of the Lyra? It's probably more likely they have like the removal spell than the negate. This is about to get interesting. Fall before me. Tomorrow, five mountain time. Okay, perfect. I'll have you, or after. Okay, I'll have you last, I'll have you up last tomorrow. For the, the Jeskai Angels. Okay. Alright, so if even if you're not there tomorrow, you'll just catch it on YouTube? Okay. Cool. Alright, that'll do. Um, let's see. Just go ahead and attack. Thanks, Skippy. Yeah, I'm glad glad you're here. Glad you're enjoying the content. Okay, you changed it a bit today. Um Do you have do you have like your your new list maybe up on like Goldfish or something like that? So I can... I want to play your new list, of course. So they know about Lyra. They don't know about Vivian. You know, they have, like, the mana here for counter magic. Ah, so they did have the Contempt. Go and feast on so if I would have just played Lyra the previous turn, they would have just contented my my creature, my Lyra, and then hit me. So, they put two lands into the graveyard with the Thief of Sanity, this so it's possible this one's a land also. It's possible it was just all three lands. So, they may not have gotten a spell. I really should have seen that coming. You beasts are much more reliable than humans. Come, sing the song of fame. I guess like a disinformation campaign would make me discard this Carnage Tyrant now by playing that land, but I don't think they're playing a card like that. Hey, they got the Weatherlight. That's kind of cool. Your angel decks Come inspire me to me. make an angel tribal for EDH. Oh, that's awesome. And play with your friends. Cool. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Really? 
rude. Go and feast on their flesh. All right, cool. I got you, white Korean. Got the new, got the new uh, Jessica Angel Flash. So I'll get that tomorrow. All right, we are three and one. Moving on. Too much value for the blue-black deck. Too much value, these Planeswalkers. We saw Huali was awesome there. You know, Huali came down, killed the Thief of Sanity, and then started making those dinosaur tokens. Um... So it did a whole lot for us. Good game, Stevo. Fancy Yancy. All right, so if we win this one, we get another final boss. Um, I mean, I like our mana. We. We've lost a game like this earlier by keep you know keeping a hand like this. Oh, oh really? Uh... Hmm. I would keep this on the play. I'm I'm worried about on the draw being super slow. I don't know. Urza's Ruinous Blast is cool. We'll keep it. Azda Marshall. <laughs> Petition to add Nia Legends every night. Maybe. That's how we can turn it into a tier 1 deck if I start playing it every single day. Start tuning it more and more. Doesn't look like I'm doing a very good job of proving you wrong. By turn three, turn three, we still didn't draw anything to play before Aurelia. So no, I think you're you're probably right that this this hand doesn't beat anything. I need to get better about mulliganing. Fortunately, we're taking lethal, unfortunately. Let's see if they play anything else. Immolation Shaman. On the play, maybe we would have had a chance, because like this this turn we would have been playing Urza's Ruinous Blast, you know, we would have had the Aurelia the previous turn. Alright, we got a good anti-aggro sideboard coming on in here. Keeping Huali because Huali can tick up and gain life, or like the minus can maybe kill some creatures. Yeah, first is certainly a whole lot better than second. Um, but EDH, I don't have any EDH decks. Uh, a lot of my friends back in Texas, my good friends, they, they play a lot of EDH, so whenever I'm with them, I borrow their decks and stuff. Um, I enjoy it and everything and if I move back to Texas, I'll probably build probably build my own EDH deck. I Don't know what, around what or anything like that, you know, I haven't really decided that at all A little better being on the play here Ooh, light up. That's a good light up. Alright, so we know that they're playing Warboss next turn, so I'm going to hold this Tajik back. 
for the token that they make. I do actually have a, a pretty large paper collection. I don't really use it anymore. Um, but yeah, I used to, you know, play, you know, I used to travel and play tournaments every single weekend throughout the country and stuff, so I, I owned all my cards for that. Hmm. Say no attacks. Yeah, sure, Dabster. Yeah, I'm liking where we're at with this because of Lyra. I think we're gonna think I think we're looking pretty good here. They have to have like removal for this Lyra and removal for the next Lyra. Um, and it can't be damage based because it's Tajik. <clears throat> so it's gotta be exile. So they gotta have like, you know, Conclave Tribunals. Or whatever. Urza's Ruinous Blast would be a perfect draw step for us. Thank you. Good old Legion War Boss having to attack into Lyra. I'll gain that five life. Well, well I probably means it's game. Yeah, that's that's got to be game. They ha they have to attack. Like I'm I'm never gonna block War Boss if they just want to start attacking with War Boss. I'm never gonna block it because I I want them to you know have to attack. Like they should be block they should be attacking with their War Bosses too to like make me you know because they want to suicide their War Bosses. That's what they should be doing. Yeah, we have some insane defensive layers, especially against burn spells. Yeah, we have the uh, the combos online, the, the Tajik plus Shalai combo. They cannot target Tajik, but now Tajik prevents non-combat damage to everything else. Yeah, Shalai and Tajik is dirty. It's a, it's a combo. Like, against, like, Mono Red, if you have those two in play... They just can't burn spell anything. Because they can only target Shalai and Tajik prevents the damage to it. It's it's a, a crazy combo against red. Alright, game three. This will be the tough one on the draw. Like to see some Llanowar Elves. So Naya Angels. Ooh, I like Maya. Or Mayel. However, however you pronounce that, Commander. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take this Deafening Clarion. Forgot we have Clarions. That card's great. Cool, yeah, that looks like a pretty good Angels Commander deck. Yeah. yeah, that was a good mulligan decision. <laughs> we got the good mulligan decision that time. All right. So they can only cast one of those two cards next turn. Assuming they're casting Vanguard, but I'd really like it if they cast Instigator. Instigator. Instigator.
Do you need a large six mana? Not sorry, six mana, sorry, six foot, a large six foot reptile right away. Well and get the get an instigator. And maybe for you. Alright, so Aurelia gets to block the Adanto Vanguard next turn. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs> Unfortunately, Aurelia only targets creatures you control. I want to target creatures my opponents control, but can't do it. Four and one. Final boss. All right, Nia Legends, you can do it. Dun, 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 dun. They have Conclave Tribunal. We'll just play Tristani the next turn. So excited for this final boss that I didn't get the pack yet again. Love it. Love everybody throwing those final boss emotes. Getting us that luck. Let's see if we get this white mana. I really like turn one land war elves. And I have good faith in the deck that we'll draw white mana. I guess the white mana could be Cinder, uh, Clifftop Retreat. So let's play the Mountain because of Clifftop, Clifftop Retreat. Have that come into play untapped. <laughs> Benthic Biomancer. They like a counterspell deck with Benthic Biomancer. I didn't live through hell to lose meet my newest friend. Hmm. Kind of want to take Lyra. Is that too greedy to take Lyra? Seems to be like an aggro deck. Yeah, it seems like a really slow Merfolk deck. Yeah, we started this league an hour ago. Uh, I am not letting that Biogenic Goose take over. And you strike nature. I figured that like Vivian Tickup Come should find more me. white mana sources. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I took the Lyra. Because I, I didn't think it was going to be too difficult for us to get more um, more white mana. Shark to crab. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I didn't want to just play Lyra and like have them adapt their Shark to Crab and tap my Lyra. Yeah, this looks like a Simic Adapt deck. No one knows the wilds like I do. We're, we are looking great. We found our white mana. Urza's Ruinous Blast helped us out. I'm just waiting on this Druidic Vow for a while. No real need to do it immediately. Ooh, they're banned. 
Not just blue white, they are banned. You just pulled an incubation druid today? That's a good pull. Yeah, that's a good pull. Balance comes. <laughs> we're killing the opponent too fast. We don't even get to Druidic Vow. So we're already going to, like, ultimate Vivian and stuff. All right, game one goes to the good guys. Sorry, opponent. I just claimed good guys. They didn't claim good guys yet, so we got to claim it. All right, let's get these coils in and another blast. And I think I like extra Lyra and Shalai. Maybe not Shalai. Yeah, kind of Shalai. I think I like Shalai. I don't think I want Deafening Clarion, though. I don't think they're like... They didn't seem to be that aggressive that I need Clarion. I'm going to take out this Waddles, the Weatherlight, the Squizzles... And maybe I don't play the three shall I? Rada can come on out. Oh, he's gonna tell Hawkeye back there is like really he's all excited to see if we can pick up this win, get this fifth fifth game win. Okay. Come here. Yeah, we're gonna maybe win five. Come on, we need your help to fight the final boss. Oh, thanks, Hawkeye. Hey, Hawkeye. Let's fight this final boss. Slowing down the opponent, always a good idea. Hawkeye power. The wrath of this is Scala. working out pretty good for us so far. Opponent only has four cards left. We have a pretty, pretty good battlefield position. You can't stop nature. Hmm. Wait, was Shauna the best card that I could get there? Was that really the best card I could get? Simic Ascendancy. Nice. The rest were lands. Okay. So it was the best card I could get. The wilds are my shield. Poor opponent trying the, their cool Simic Ascendancy deck. Yeah, opponent has not drawn very well. Feel bad for them.
Yeah, we did. Yeah, we called good guides. We did call good guys. So, you have to think of it like that. Like, the good guys are dismantling the bad guys. All right, you call you called it. We have to druidic vow first. Come to me. Let's go. All right, one, two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, well we got a lot of lands. Our actions determine the course of history. Making a big battlefield. Some solutions must be built. I'd rather them block the Captain Lannery Storm than block the Amara, I think. I put the counter there. River's Rebuke. Dang. All right, let's see. Let's play this thing. Of course, I had them let's block the Captain Lannery Storm. And fire. I'm just gonna kill that so they don't get to tap things now. Um, and let's play this. And this. And this. Crisis. That's a major crisis. All right. That is lethal. Just gonna pump up this Amara. They can only block Shauna or Amara. They can only block one of the two. The other one comes in and finishes the job. 5-1. We defeated the final boss. Good job, Hawkeye. High five. Hawkeye power. Helped us get there. Ooh, we got an extra mythic. Mythic and two rares. Just a bunch of gems, though, at this point. So, yeah, Night of Legends is pretty awesome. Um, so, I took out the Night of Autumn. So, like, my one change that I made, as y'all, as I was talking about before, to the deck, is we took out the Night of Autumns in the sideboard for Cinder Vines to help out, like, Nexus and Control. Because I thought I, we had like a good enough matchup against aggro anyway with having the Deafening Clarions and all these Angels. Um, I thought we were going to be just fine against aggro. And it turns out we were. We played against a lot of aggro. That's what our deck's good against is, is aggro. So we, we did play against a lot of good matchups. Um, uh, so I think this will help out because you know, the last time we played this, we lost to uh, Nexus. And, and um, I think the Cinder Vines could certainly help out there. So... Um, mono blue, we're okay. We're not necessarily the best, but again, we have like we have like a lot of like heavy hitters that are really good. Uh, like with Shalai and Lyra, they resolve. Same with like Aurelia. Like those cards are awesome. Um, and of course, Ruinous Blast is great. Um, we're okay. You know, we have, but not amazing. Um, let's get this pack that I've been missing. I've been forgetting to get. Let's crack it open. Ah, uh, just a rare. I already have all the rares in Ravnica Legion, so it turns into 20 gems. Um, gem, gem reward. Congratulations. You have collected all the rares in this set. Yep. Yeah, I made... Yep, this is a deck I made myself. Um, so, 
According to Matthew Ori, he said that they went back and looked at all of the videos of 2019 of us playing this, saying that we were 44 and 18 before this video. So now we're 40. So if that's correct, then now we're 49 and 19. So 49 and 19 is is really good. So that's that's where we're at with this deck. With with uh, me basically not changing anything in the main the whole time. So yeah, that's awesome. So there we go. Uh, for the YouTube recording, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.